when you when you making videos and when you doing lives, you're trying to conduct it in such a manner to where you're on a you're on an intellectual level. You're on a level where you're conveying knowledge to everybody that's listening, to everybody that's viewing you. You don't want the live or the video to turn out and be pure foolishness. You don't want your video to turn out such as it did with uh, OG Dan. That shit is crazy. Here it is. We on topic about something that's meaningful, something that could possibly uh, benefit the community, and then he go left. Now, I didn't allow that. I didn't allow that before in our videos. But I got to that point where I, I can't do that because that's not me. That's not my brand. That's not who I am as a person. And then another thing that I that I got fed up with, I was fed up with it a long time ago, is calling people, okay, you calling the women bitches, you calling, you calling people snitches, you don't have no paperwork. I can't condone that type of behavior on my channel. I'm not going to call nobody a rat, a snitch, none of that shit. If I ain't seen no paperwork, I don't have no proof, no knowledge, or none of that shit. And I allowed that because it was on my channel, and that shit was out of line. That shit was all the way 100% out of line. So I'm going to take it upon myself to apologize to anybody he called a rat that ain't a rat. Now, if somebody is a rat that he called a rat, then that it is what it is. But anybody else, you know what I'm saying? I don't get down like that. And it just came to a breaking point today on the live. And, you know, it's a lot of shit that I tolerate, but there's certain things that I won't ever tolerate. And that's one of them. So, Disrespecting people, trying to talk over me, uh, conducting the live on some pure foolishness and bullshit. And then, OK, all right, you know, you stuck your foot in your mouth. Now you got to own up to all of that. It is what it is. Check this video out, though, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Besides the fake activists, what about these fake gang members, though? What about these gang members that was just so tough in 2019 and 2018? Just... Just in 2018, these niggas was so fucking tough. They they first and foremost. We got we definitely got to get on them. They always outside. They always uh killing each other. So uh, they can't seem to uh catch nobody when they destroying a mural, but they can catch each other slipping and kill each other and been doing it for years. Now, the reason why they can't catch them taggers that's tagging that mural because whoever tagging it, they coming up there with a big ass thing. And then this is what I'm trying to tell you, man. Right across the street, it's off the hook fish market, man, mm -hmm. which is supposed to be owned by Big D and, and with the help of Mike Epps. And I mean, we all know Mike Epps is one of them Hollywood frivolous motherfuckers, though, so. I, I don't understand if Big C, if Big D so fucking tough, why the 60s ain't out patrolling and making sure that the mural ain't being touched. Exactly. They supposed to be hood patrolling like they hood patrol, like they hood patrol when you gang banging. All these years, every set been hood patrolling, including the 60s. Now all of a sudden, don't nobody see nothing. Ain't nobody, you know, ain't nobody heard nothing. Ain't nobody saying nothing. But speak on it. Yeah, I mean, shit, that, that's kind of crazy for a motherfucker to come back and tag that shit four times. I mean, that's, that's, they, they just showing blatant disrespect to the community, man. You know blatant what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, just, disrespect. but just to, just to be, just to keep it 100, I mean, shit. You know, I mean, you see the tattoo on Nipsey neck, though, bro. I mean, shit. Nipsey was with that shit, so maybe they just trying to show the people that Nipsey wasn't really with them. I don't know what they're trying to show these motherfuckers, but these motherfuckers, they specialize in sending out mixed messages and causing confusion, man. Exactly. It's, it's In my mind, in my opinion, I believe it's some type of message. 
Yeah, the okay. message is that is that we dealing with the original Babylonians. <laughs> they back. It's, it's they definitely back. yeah. It's definitely a they message. Back. And the community is not responding in a manner in which we should be responding as a as a collective. No, but I thought, these, the, whole, about these I thought the whole actors? city loved Nipsey. Look, listen to this, man. When Nipsey was doing that little video, when he was talking about Dr. Sabian and all that, that nigga said with his own mouth, that nigga said, if these people kill me, you niggas better ride like a motherfucker. Ain't now nigga hit a corner for that boy, man. Not one. Including the 60s. Not one. I'm talking about all they did was did... They 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 kill Eric Holder's people just to show these people that they had killed the toughest niggas in the hood. Now they got all these niggas scared, which they really been scared all they life. That's why they joined the Crips because they were scared, my nigga. You feel me? They not going straight lie. up. Look, we need to we need to address the situation with these fake activists that's always talking about that's always talking about shit that don't really matter, that's not going to benefit the community. But when it's time to really step up and speak on certain issues that's, that's, that's affecting the community, and such as this, which is blatant disrespect, it's not a peep from nobody. Nah, nah, what about the, the dude, the million hits dude? He going by there doing shit, though, but, I mean, ain't nobody responding. He can only... He can only he can only do so much, and I so yeah. He only can do so much. I understand that, so but much. shit. And he been doing I mean, he been he been doing that for years before before anybody you know before he even got his name really out there. He was he was going all around in the communities, and everybody can right. doing what he do. But he only one person. But like we said, what's going on with the sixties? What's going on with all the gang bangers? Everybody that's neighborhood. Everybody that's that's out there every day, that's disrespecting everybody else's sets, but scared to protect something that's within your own community. I'm talking about some shit that's right next door to Hungry Heralds. Exactly. Some shit, shit. that you where everybody coming every all that look, that donut stop that donut shop stay open all night. Them niggas buying blood from that motherfucker 24 hours a day. So I mean, you tell me, are they doing it? Cause I mean Shit, Big D, like I said, off the hook is right across the street. I mean, the 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 protesters really need to go up there and ask Big D what's going on. I'm quite sure he got cameras pointed right over there at the mirror. He's if he's a, a if he's a businessman of that stature that's dealing with Mike Epps, I mean, shit, niggas should just go up there and strike up on his shit, though, bro. I mean, just just officially though, niggas should just go vandalize that off the hood because. He got cameras that's pointing right at that mirror. I'm quite sure, man. He's supposed to be Big D from Rolling Sixty Crips and all this shit, man. I'm just look, saying, man. Look, let somebody let somebody vandalize or break in his shit and see what happens. Ain't nothing gonna happen right now. He's just gonna take it as a loss and call the insurance company and nah, get somebody gonna, busted. He gonna do that. <laughs> he gonna do that, but they gonna be on somebody's head though. They got cameras. They got them. Oh, they got the best of the best, bro. They got the they best got of the cameras. best. Bro, these niggas is money in the ghetto, my nigga. And they, you know who they getting their money from, my nigga. These niggas is J. Eggert funded. <laughs> Federally funded. You heard what I just said. And they they J. funded, man. Yeah, they federally funded by J. Eggert. Who, you know, I already know what you're speaking on. I already know. But for the people that about, don't know, for the people that don't know, break it down for them. Explain it to them. It, hey, look, man, I'm just saying they running the COINTEL Pro. They on everybody's family. I mean, just look, listen. Anybody know that ever has some serious money, though? That's serious money. I ain't talking about this little drug dealer money and this little shit that they get these niggas on the street. They get these niggas easy. See, when these niggas on the streets, when they join that bullshit, they get them easy from drug cases and shit like that. You feel me? They don't even really be with the big wicked motherfuckers that don't have no cases and no nothing. And you know what I'm saying? They really got to let somebody suck on their dick on camera or they got to suck somebody's dick on camera or, or anything. See, you dealing with some 
low level coward Illuminati, man. That's what you're dealing with. These street level gangs, they got all these gangs, man. All the gangs, the street, the street gangs, they got them, my nigga. They got paid professional fighters locked up in jail that you think in there serving hard time. Them niggas, them niggas in there getting bitches pregnant. And 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 donating their kid, they 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 uh sacrificing their kids to this organization, and they living good, and they beating up people and all that, and they on the they on the payroll right now. So when you when you one of these young niggas and you see one of the big homies up in this jail, they like, oh yeah, this nigga doing that and doing this and doing that. They know that's who you gonna have to deal with if you go in there. So this on me, man. They got these niggas. This, this, it's just, it's just a modern Babylon, my nigga. We in, we in, we in the. Look at the back of the dollar, my nigga. Got a pyramid on there with the eye on top, man. Yes, this so is a modern man. Babylon, man. Look at your dollar. Pull out your dollar, man, and look at the back of it, man. It's these, all this is the it's most all Masonic symbolism. Man, we dealing with the most vicious gang. This is what I'm trying to tell you, man. I was just talking on my page earlier about this shit. They got so many tiers of soldiers, my nigga. You feel me? I'm just saying, it's it's so wicked. I could be one of these soldiers. You could be one. We can just be on here just 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 throwing the people to the left. You feel me? But it's it's so many people scared to touch on this shit. These motherfuckers been scared. So many motherfuckers in the community, man. So I mean, it's, it, 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 me it ain't even funny. It takes me back to the original question as to why the community activist is not doing that. And when I speak on community activists, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about the ones that actually grew up over the Yeah, years. so, so who is that name? Who are you talking about? Tony Muhammad or who? Rizla Islam? Which one of these chumps you talking about? So I can tell you why they ain't doing All shit. All of them. All of them. Who, Tony Muhammad? Which, which one of these homosexuals up. you talking about, man? All of them. I don't know if they homosexuals, but I'm speaking on all of them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Hey, if there was any type of if there was any type of man that had any type of black boots stumping to the ground, you would have been seeing them out here, man. All of them is paid to shut up, man. You feel me? Farrakhan been told me he gave his last speech two years ago, man. He ain't telling you niggas nothing else, man. Y'all ain't woke up by now. I mean, it, come on, man. It, 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 look, even, look, look. I was just talking to my nigga you know, earlier. Trying to, you know they trying to get Farrakhan right now, right? You know that, right? Yeah, for what, though? You know the government has been planning to try to arrest him. You know this, right? But yeah, you, I mean. Also, but, you, but listen, you need to know this. The day that they arrest Farrakhan because, and I'm not speaking on the uh, Muslims within right. America. I'm speaking on right. the Muslims outside of America in the other right. countries. They are 100% behind Farrakhan. The day the government lay a hand on him and try to arrest him, all hell is going to break loose. Man, ain't no hell going to break loose. It's going to break I'm loose. Stupid. That's why I said, not with the Muslims, inside of america it's going to be a lot of muslims inside of america but what i'm speaking on right now is factuals the government is planning and getting ready to try to arrest and get farrakhan believe that well I'm in my you, opinion i know i hey i probably they probably been going to arrest him but they need to hurry up and move fast and go get him because me personally this just can be my opinion i don't give a fuck if y'all don't agree if you don't agree that that nigga is part of the problem, my nigga. All these rappers that's bullshit, all of them, oh, I'd have been got with the minister. Look at Big U. Oh, the reason why the feds took me down is because I was taking people to Farrakhan trying to get the hood straight. Bro, this on me. I've been going to Muslim school all my life, my nigga. The nation is still, look, my nigga. I got Farrakhan on my fucking page looking like a fucking fag, though, bro. Tell somebody from the... Nation of Islam to get on this live and question me about why I got that fucking nigga looking like a bitch on my page, bro. They not gonna, they not going first and foremost, you know what I'm saying? The way you feel about Farrakhan, okay, that's the way you feel about him. And I don't know. How I don't feel, feel about like him about it, but who's listen, gonna defend listen, him listen, though, bro? Listen, 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 it's many people that's gonna defend him, and the Muslims outside of the country, they deal with Farrakhan. 100 percent they are 100 they ready 
to give their lives for him. I'm not speaking I, you, on somebody you, in the neighborhood. I'm I know, but listen, you know why you know why they're ready to give a life to Farrakhan? Because they under illusion. Because the American Farrak look, these Americans made Farrakhan just like they made Osama bin Laden, man. That ain't why they ready. Because a lot of them, a lot of them believe in their religion. They believe in Islam. They believe for what's right. And they hate America. They really, they really, really hate America. No, they've been breeding them to hate America. They've been breeding them like that for years, man. Nah, nah. Been listen, 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 listen. They don't hate America because they've been bred that way. They hate America because they sitting back in their countries and seeing what America does to the people over here. And they see what America does to other countries, dropping bombs and killing kids, killing children, killing innocent people. This is why they hate them. And this is why they will not allow the American government to do what they want to do with Farrakhan without doing anything. Now, a lot of the ones that uh, practice Islam, that's that's Muslims, okay, that's live within America, a lot of them are not afraid either, you know. Like I said, I don't know what your <laughs> gripe is about Farrakhan or whatever, you know. What I'm Me, I, don't I don't have no gripe. Anything. Look, listen, listen. I told you, I grew up in the nation. Nigga, going to school, Muslim school with Marcus Garvey and all this, but I'm not in the nation no more. This shit is fake, my nigga. I'm not in that shit, my nigga. This shit is a. This I'm shit not, is a. I'm, I'm not. I'm not in it no know. more. I mean, that's my opinion, my nigga. I'm telling you, I ain't mad at Farrakhan. I'm just clowning the nigga because I'm a nigga that don't give a fuck, and that's what I'm trying to show people, my nigga. I don't give. I'm a nigga just like these other niggas. I don't give a it's fuck. Time if you pop bitch. out then. You, you feel me? It's time to pop out then. Fuck it. It's time right. to pop out. It's time, it's time, it's time to hit the pavement. If you feeling, if you really truly feel like you feeling right now, it's time to pop out. Hey, I'm out all the time, man. What do I need to do? Pop out on Slauson and go stand in front of the mirror and with some signs picketing? It's, it's time to pop out. You know what I'm <laughs> Fuck that protesting, man. I mean, no, I protesting about for years, man. I mean, I look, said, listen. I ain't said nothing about protesting. I ain't said nothing about protesting. Even these niggas couldn't pop out if they want to. What they gonna pop out with some sticks? I said you pop out. I didn't say. Oh, uh, I mean, but pop out and do what though? What, whatever. Well, who who, I, who can I pull up on though? You know somebody I can pull up on? <laughs> I, I mean, you can start with the nation. You said they fake, so I, I feel if you feel <laughs> they fake, you should address them in person. Well, I mean, shit. Tell one of them to call my phone. And then we can set up a meeting. And I address them in person. I don't give a fuck, bro. Go me. Shit, yeah, fuck I, them I, niggas, bro. Like, I'm yeah, straight I up, though, my nigga. That, look, my nigga. Hey, my nigga. I'm, I'm really a gang member, though, my nigga, that, that demands respect, my nigga, and got control on niggas, my nigga. I'm not one of these... Pussy ass niggas that just fall along with. I don't give a fuck about the nation. Nigga, I got the set behind me, my nigga. Whatever I say, the set gonna do, my nigga. Nah, the set ain't gonna be able to, the set ain't gonna go. So the what nation. if they can't handle it? If the set can't handle it, they just gonna have to get knocked down right along with me. Ain't no just set. Straight up, my nigga. Ain't no, ain't no set gonna go against the nation. None. I'm going against them. And if you from full trade, I'm gonna just start bashing them every day. So. If they see some of the full trades before they see me, they should do something to the full trades. Straight up. The full trades, but the full trades ain't going to go against. They ain't going to go Man, against. Man, the full trades ain't going to do shit. The full trades going to do what the fuck they told. That's on God, nigga. They not going to go against the nation. Man, fuck full trade. Full trade going to do whatever the fuck I tell them to, nigga. That's on crib, nigga. Oh, and whoever the baddest nigga from full trade that think I'm bullshitting, Tell them to call me up so we can smoke it out. I'm tired of these niggas. None of these niggas ain't going to do nothing about nothing, Star Wolf. I'm saying oh, not gonna go, ain't nobody going to go against I'm going nation. against the nation, though. Me, I'm going against the nation, bro. I'm not Fuck go Tony Muhammad, Farrakhan, and whoever got a problem with it, they should tap into my page or fuck, let's set it up where we can have a conference and talk about it. 
that's that's why I said well you I mean you said you really affiliated and and know a lot of them you should be able to uh put that man I, man them niggas know how to get in contact with me nigga my dad is in that shit nigga brother Shahi any of these fake ass Muslims nigga they know how to contact me nigga that's on crib my nigga it ain't it ain't it ain't it ain't that ain't holding no weight that's not what I'm saying you could pop out though. You can hit that moth, though. Man, I'm popped out every day, man. The nation everywhere, bro. Ain't nobody tripping on the nation, bro. They man, had that, they they had had some with some suits on, my nigga, that and did some telling and selling some bean pies out here, my nigga. That's on crib, my nigga. Listen, I know about this shit, my nigga. I'm not just no nigga I like, oh, too. I know about this shit, my nigga. I used to go to school with Layla Ali. She used to be in my class, my nigga. I didn't... But my nigga, I done been with the best of the best in the nation, bro. Sister Claire Muhammad on Central and Compton, my nigga, I done grew up in this shit, my nigga. They running that 120 of technology, my nigga, to keep the people in control, my nigga. That's on crib. That's why they lit these boys up in the pens preaching this shit, man. This shit is the control, my nigga. I get out, I get out my Quran right now and show you some bullshit that my dad left up. You want me to show you this bullshit that my dad left in the Quran? Hold on, let me show you since we're talking about the nation right now. Now, since we talk about the nation, I'm 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 fi I'm finna tell you some real shit, my nigga. Look, didn't I tell you my uncle after the '65 riots, right? This nigga hired over sixty people at General Hospital, right? You listening? I'm listening. Okay, the nigga that hired the nigga got twenty people hired at General Hospital, my nigga. After the '65 riots, my nigga. This where my mother and my dad. Met my nigga. All these motherfuckers is in Illuminati, my nigga. My dad, my dad, my nigga. He's not even my dad, my nigga. That's my older brother, my nigga. This on me, my nigga. My, my mom, while my dad was at work and my mom was hanging with my grandmother, learning all her recipes, my nigga, and learning, teaching her how to cook and teaching her and, and getting her up into this shit, nigga. My grandfather was fucking her, my nigga. You feel me, nigga? This on me, my nigga. I'm my fucking grandfather's son, my nigga. My dad and them grew up in Christianity, my nigga. This on me. All them niggas is fake Muslims, nigga. My dad, my uncle Ed, they call him Said. These niggas been sacrificing kids and everything, my nigga. These niggas own almost half of the fucking city, my nigga. And you wouldn't even never know it, nigga. These niggas is low key, my nigga. These niggas been practicing homosexuality. These niggas been practicing incest, nigga, for years, my nigga. I got brothers and sisters, nigga, all over the place, nigga. I got some that I don't even know, my nigga. Some of these bitches that I've been fucking with no rubbers and all that, and nigga just broke up with them. You think you done broke up on, with them on bad terms? These motherfuckers done sick these bitches on me, nigga, and I ain't got these bitches pregnant, nigga. They got kids, nigga, that I haven't even seen, nigga. They show them to you on Instagram or they, they let you know you know these motherfuckers, your kids, but nigga, you have no control over them, my nigga. So None. Look, the listen. Question is, Look. The question is, when you gonna pop out out the mosque and address all that? But what mosque? What mosque is these niggas at? What mosque is these niggas hanging at, bro? At all. What, what, what mosque are they at, bro? Where they mosque at, bro? You said Bro, where, you listen, tell me where listen, they my listen, side, listen, though. Listen, That's up in listen, L.A., bro. Listen, listen. I pull up on them niggas. Nigga don't listen. give a fuck. I pull up over there and hit up on they shit, nigga. I vandalize the mosque just like they vandalizing that Nipsey uh, Miro. Listen, listen, listen. You said, and you just stated some things that you say are facts. I don't know if they facts or not because I don't know. You stated and said they facts. Now, if you feel a certain way about this, I feel you should pull up and address the problem. But where? Tell me where I can pull up at. They, at, you know where? They where these niggas be at that I need to find? Where Tony Muhammad be at? Our Rizzle Islam. What what mosques is they mosques? So I can pull up at they mosques. <laughs> you can find Rizzle Islam if you really want to. But how, could you connect me with him? I can't connect you with them because I don't have a gripe with them brothers. I'm saying 
I don't have a gripe with them brothers too. I'm just putting them on blast. Now, if they got a gripe with me, who gives a fuck? I don't have a gripe with them. I'm just talking shit about them though, because I'm a nigga that don't give a fuck. So you, the the question is, you need to find out if they got a problem with me for talking shit. I don't give a fuck if they got a gripe. I don't even give a fuck about getting to the bottom of it. That's the question. Is is they mad at me for talking this shit about them, though, bro? That that's the question you need to be asking them. Why should I go looking for some niggas? I'm dying. And fuck them niggas if they if they mad about what I'm talking about they need to be looking for me I'm not looking because for no nigga you I'm them. talking shit because you I'm not call. looking for no nigga all niggas that I'm talking shit about they should be looking for me my nigga I ain't going out looking for these niggas bro so you don't have a problem with them no I'm just calling them pussy now if they have a problem with okay, me so of look, course I have a out. problem check with them but check no no listen no, look, look, listen. listen. You listen. You listen. Okay. All right, go ahead. You See, listen. look. You listen. You listen. You listen. <laughs> He's like, you, you listen. listen. No, you go listen. All right, go ahead. I'm going to listen. Go ahead. Anybody you got a problem with, I feel you should address that problem with them. I do be addressing it right on they Instagram in listen. front of listen. everybody. Listen. listen. <laughs> I do. Listen. Whether you feel they fake or not or whatever, however you may feel and whatever you've seen in your life, whatever it may be, I don't know because right. I'm not in your head and I don't know what you've seen and what you haven't seen. But right, right, right. to disrespect Farrakhan and call him what you called him and call other brothers that, I feel you should address them in person. Man, I'm a crip, man. Them niggas need to address me, bro. That's how I feel. That's how I grew up, my nigga. When, hey, look. When you from your hood, right, and you dissing the nigga from your hood, do or do you are y'all gonna try to talk it out, or are them, them niggas gonna bow it down, or are they gonna get on your head, right? Exactly. So this was so they, I'm talking shit about them. So if they got a problem, they should let me know that they have a problem, and then we can take it from there. I can make them bow down, or they can make me bow down, nigga. But listen, that's how we do that. But listen, that was a weak analogy that you just came up with because. The gangs ain't standing on shit anyway. So, but fuck the, the gangs. I'm a one man menace, bro. The I, I, man, I don't listen. give a fuck what the gang's standing on. I'm listen. I'm a gangster listen. myself, my nigga. I don't need nobody to stand behind me, my nigga. Well, I don't listen. need nobody to stand okay, behind okay. me. Okay, I understand that. And 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 you say you don't need nobody to stand behind you, and you stand on your own. So, can you refrain from saying that you from this and you from that thing? No, I'm not saying I refrain. I own Faux Trey. So I'm from Faux Trey. I you own Faux Trey. You don't own Faux Oh, Crip I do. I Crip. So who, so tell me who, who said I don't own it? What nigga said I don't own it? I'm saying tell you me. don't own it. Don't nobody own none of that. Yeah, I own Faux Trey, bro. Don't nobody do. Bruh. I own the niggas from Full Trade. If they from Full Trade, nigga, I own them, nigga. And if you know some of them that say I don't, tell them to meet up with me and let's prove it different. I'm going to connect you with G-Mike. Man, connect me with G-Mike, nigga. I beat the fuck out of G-Mike. G-Mike a bitch. Cause tell him I said it. Connect him. Tell him to call my phone on Full Trade, nigga. Tell him to call my phone or tell him to get on this live right now. I'm going to connect you with G-Mike. Fuck G-Mike, nigga. That's on Crip, nigga. That nigga ain't showed up to the hood. He ain't caught the hood or nothing. That, that nigga's a snitching-ass bank robber, nigga. That's on Crip, nigga. I'm a grown man, nigga. I will dust G-Mike, nigga. That's hey. on Crip, nigga. Hey, Tell him to call listen. my phone, Star Will. Tell Cuz to call my phone, my nigga. Listen, listen. I'm, cut. I'm listen. adding Cuz to the list. Listen. I'm going to put Cuz off the hood. That's on no. full trade. Listen. So tell him to call my phone listen. right now. Listen. Listen. Nah, because I don't want to listen to nothing. Because I look, listen. I don't listen because I give orders, my nigga. No, listen. I don't listen, my nigga. G Mike. Because G Mike is a fucking number. sorry bank robber that ain't never had no money, my nigga. That lived by my grandmother, my nigga. That's who G Mike is, my nigga. G Mike ain't bigger than me, nigga. I don't give a fuck about no G Mike, nigga. That's on Crip, my nigga. Hey. Cause hey, my ass, nigga. Tell G, G Mike, Mike I said wants, they want you to. They want you to go to Gilbert Lindsay Park. Man, cause hey, man, hey, tell that nigga to call my phone right now, nigga. I don't know. Nigga won't now, now folks. Man, cause hey, cause Gilbert that's Lindsay on Park. Hey, Gilbert hey, look, Lindsay listen. Park. Hey, hey, I'm getting off this live though. But look, post this nigga. Tell them niggas. 
Tell it, tell G Mike, I said, fuck cuz though, nigga. That nigga won't dare show his face in the hood. Tell that nigga to come to the hood right now, nigga. I'm finna call the hood right now. I'm gone. They be up at the park. He don't want all the smoke. He don't want that smoke. He don't want that smoke. Trust me. He don't want that smoke. G Mike is well known reputable. From Faux Trey Gangsta the Crip. They always over there. He do not want that smoke. He do not want that. For people that's not in LA that don't know, you don't know. He do not want that smoke. I went in, look, I went in, I went in only because you can't sit up and just keep disrespecting people like that. You can't disrespect the minister and all that, no matter how you feel, because if you looking for them and feel that way, you can go to the mosque and address that in person. Or if you feel that way about anybody, you can't, you can't, you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? You can't, I ain't said nothing wrong. You know, and he want to speak over me and talk over me because he know I'm speaking facts. You can't call no man a homosexual and then turn around in the same breath and say, uh, well, where they at? You know, goddamn well where they at, where they be at all the time. If they selling bean pies on the streets, then pull up on them and tell them that they are homosexual and see if you don't get that work right then and there. He don't want smoke. Listen, he don't want smoke with everybody. He don't. He don't. He don't want smoke with everybody. He don't want smoke with nobody. He just venting. He really venting and he mad. He upset and he angry. And it's okay. It's all right to be angry and upset and mad and vent. But when you put certain words out there, you're going to have to eat them words one day. Real talk. And about the faux trait about the faux trace situation, you know what I'm saying? GD Dan, he's not over there. He's not over there with the faux trays. He's not over there at Gilbert Lindsay Park every day. And those are facts. Those are facts. He's not over there. But he says some shit on this live that he shouldn't have said and just I'm going to just leave it at that. He said some shit that he shouldn't have said. I'm going to leave it at that, though. Hey, but everybody have a good day, though. I'm definitely putting this on YouTube, though. Y'all have a good day and enjoy the rest of y'all's night.